But I want to make sure that you guys understand kind of where we got to go, what we got to do. So how do you feel things are going? Anybody? Solid. <laughs> Solid. Pretty well. Okay. A um, couple things that I saw. So we read you one talked about going to two times, three times this week, right, with extra. So we did two times last week. Friday we had a great participation, right? My vision is every day 30 minutes, like all season long. Okay? That's my vision. Formation, formation recce for defense, right? Formations, plays on offense, whatever you're doing. Okay? But that's my vision. They do it every day at Alabama, correct? Every day. Seven, 6.30 to what? 6.30 to whenever you time class and then come back. Okay. So, like, and what is it? What's it called? It's our extra. It's just work. It's what we're supposed to do. It's work. What you're supposed to do. If you want to win, that's what you do. If you don't, you, you don't win. Okay? So, that's where we're going to go to. But it was awesome because I'm talking to him. And so, I'm going to talk to him on Thursday in the talk because everything we're doing right now, is headed to where he just came from. Now, are we going to win the national championship this year? Hell no. I ain't going to put no constraints on you, though. I know this. We can win a lot more games than we won last year. I know that. Okay? If we do what we're doing in this room and we keep moving up the, up the stream, we're going to be fine. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So, a couple things. Ready? We're going to go to three this week. Reggie said we ain't quite ready. Okay? So, we're going to do two again this week, but we got a snow day. So, we'll see how that plays out. But we're going to try to go to three next week. Okay? We're going to try to get to four as soon as possible after that. But remember what I said in the beginning of this. Unless everybody comes with us, it doesn't matter. Okay? So, like, if they're not ready to come, then you got to you got to say, okay, we'll do another week of uh, threes or another week of fours. Right? It's the same thing we're doing in the gold stuff. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. All right. So, we're going to move lockers with the idea being that we've broken up the running backs so we can take care of the running backs, the wide receivers, and the quarterbacks. The D-line, you guys are all where you all normally are, kind of moved around a little bit. And then you got Isaiah Gay in the middle of you guys. Okay, we talked about that. K-Jack made that move. Um, the O-line, they got their boy. And then they got DJ. So the tight ends end with DJ. Freshman, how you guys been doing? Have you learned something? Okay. So, Virtus, you need to get on a stair climber every day, some cardio every day. Because you got to get in shape if you're going to be able to look at anybody in this room and carry your weight. Okay? All you got to do is get in shape. Okay. All right. Um, the last thing. So we got a gain in the weight loss or a gain in the loss club. So on Thursday's meeting at the end, we're going to bring them up here and they're going to explain why they didn't hit their goal. So the only way you coming up here is if you didn't hit your goal, if you didn't lose enough or you didn't gain enough. OK, Sebastian, they got crazy goals. It's like one pound a week, basically, or two pounds a loss a week. OK, but we're going to try to put a little pressure on that because we got some cats sitting at like 235. <laughs> they're supposed to be 203. I'm sorry, three three oh three and they weighed three thirty five. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. You guys want to see the meetings go any differently on Thursday. We got a case this Thursday, so uh we're gonna do lying this Thursday. And then lying. Lying. And then we're gonna talk to the team about some house cleaning things about, you know, like calling your mom and stuff like that. And then some people gotta be get ready because head coach ain't coming back on Monday on fire. We're getting four brooms and four dustpans in the locker room, okay? Everybody's going to be responsible for their area. Everybody's strategically placed next to a dirt ball, okay? There's no more towels on the floor. There's no more shoes. Like, I don't care about your shoes if they're nice in the front, but I don't want to see no paper. I don't want to see no burritos. I don't want to see no trash on the floor in there, okay? So we'll have four brooms spread out around the locker room with dustpans, okay? If you don't think that's your job, then that's fine. I'm going to take you out of the locker room. You get dressed in the bathroom. Okay, if someone want to complain, you just, hey, man, we're going to move. The bathroom is where you're going next. We ain't going to visit team locker room. We go to the bathroom. And then if they don't want to keep their area clean, then that's on you. You're not doing your job well enough. Make sense? Okay, what else? So I'm going to turn it right back on you. You guys know why it's going on. Okay, what? Okay, spoil them a little bit. What's the other one? What did I tell you was going to happen in this room when we started? What, what's going to happen? People get uncomfortable, right? So what happens when people get uncomfortable? What do they start doing? Huh? They back away. They try to find a way out. They want to try to get it back to the way it was. He's trying to either get kicked out of here or get it back to the way it was, where we just let him do whatever he wants and he relate to everything. Okay, but what do we know in this room? That ain't how it works. 
right? And I told you in the beginning of this whole thing, if the headman say, Jake, you're going too hard, you got a bunch of savages in that room, I'm going to have to fire you. Okay? Because I can't do it any other way. I told you that in the beginning of this whole mess. I can't look at you guys at all with everything of who I am and sit here and say, hey, guys, we're going we're gonna to try to do a 50% and, and try to make an improvement and win two more games next year. Does that make sense to you? But I knew this was going to happen. Okay, but I'm 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 telling you everything so that you can step back as one of the guys that we need to see this in the future and say, my man, my man melting down right now because it's getting uncomfortable in this room. Right. Like I give Virtus all the props in the world. Virtus is growing immensely since we put him in this room. Okay, and I knew he would. I just did. I knew if I if I got Virtus in this room, I knew he would grow. Now, he ain't where he need to be. But do we need him there right now? He got a whole year, right? I need him there at the beginning of next season. Really at the end of next season because then, you know what I'm saying? But, like, keep it up. We, we said it before, right? We got some guys making bad decisions listening to the wrong people. Okay, that's our job in this room to make sure they try to do the right thing.